I've had a few requests for a scrap farming video, so I'll share several methods I use that aren't just kill everyone or join a zerg. And while this video won't focus on the current hot scrap farming methods, I can't ignore them. As of early 2022, the scrap meta largely revolves around three things. Killing tunnel dwellers in the underground rail network for comps, farming comps in underwater labs, fertilizer trade-in by farming horse dung, composting it, and then selling it for scrap at Bandit Camp. For fertilizer trade-in, it's safe and profitable, but the moment you're competing with someone else at the trade-in, it becomes very frustrating. For the first two, they are amazing options, but they come with high risk because everyone knows they are amazing options, and it can be hard to pull off if you're behind the tech curve and run into enemies. So let's evaluate some other options or tweaks to existing options that are more reliable alternatives even if they are slower. For starters, boat farming trash piles and underwater boxes is also amazing and really is item number 4 on the scrap list. It requires some investment and has some risk, but the scrap yield is good. You also get a lot of crude which you could use to trade for guns from bigger groups. But let's look at some more common choices. Many people opt to farm T0 monuments. You can build incredibly close to them, and it's simple to snag a few quick boxes and maybe even recycle. But because of this, they're crowded and messy. I do not recommend building your main base near them, but I do think you can make a ton of quick progress by keeping a nearby 2x1 and running through the monument for quick loot when you can't make progress elsewhere on the map. Between Mining Outpost, Oxum's Gas Station, and Abandoned Supermarket, they each have their own pros and cons. Mining Outpost rarely has military crates, but it is the most efficient to loot and the hardest to camp. The others have military crates but have more camping spots and higher risk of messy, drawn-out fights. Another common option is to farm the safe zone with a paddle. It's slow, but mostly risk-free and surprisingly effective. However, to really make value from it, I recommend using the comps and resources you gather to run a shop to multiply your scrap earnings. I recommend selling desirable items that are expensive on the tech tree like wood wall, ladder, bed, garage door, etc. Or sell resources that large groups need in bulk like cloth or crude, which you will accumulate farming the safe zone. I've personally found this approach to be better than farming T0 monuments. I'd also be happy to share my blueprint oriented shop based design so let me know in the comments if that would be useful. While I won't discuss tier 1-3 to three monuments as the risk reward is well understood by most players, I will call out water treatment as being the best loot you can get your grubby hands on while being completely naked. There is no radiation unless you go into the canals or tunnels below making it potentially very profitable for scrap farming out of a nearby 2x1. Lastly, because you can build directly inside of abandoned cabins, you can quite easily grab the nearby box spawns and green card for easy loot. Plus, the sulfur spawns, food crate spawns, and fresh water make this an intriguing choice and I've even put a main base here on many occasions. Now I don't want to attach any specific scrap per hour figures to each of these because it all depends on if you can get that scrap back into base or if you die on the way, but I would say that you will be best off if you have multiple options available to you in case a given method is being controlled by someone else. Let me know in the comments if this has been helpful and thank you for watching.